Hello everybody. Mazel Mike here, out in the garage, just got in from riding a goat. Beautiful, I'm miles that. 30 mile ride. Been riding the goat, semi-legal, don't have to worry about inspection until September. As long as I have a uh, low beam headlight in Pennsylvania, they don't really look at the high beams. And actually, in, since I live in town, the inspector that I take it to, basically, as long as the high beam is lit up, he makes it, lets it pass because I don't ride much at night, much at night and uh, I live in town. Most of my riding is in town. But I got something I ordered in the mail today. I said, said what the heck, why not go ahead and just pull the trigger on it and I uh, get it. Pass or fail, you'll see it. I'm really not looking to see that I'm not thinking this will actually pass as it was should be. Um, but I mean, what it is, what it is. Just wrapping was in. But here's the ball. If you want to call it a ball. This I'm not worried about it. I got an inspection in September. As long as I have a light lit, I mean, it's so cool to me. And it's on a high beam, so it won't be used often if it does work. Light up enough. But yeah, it's a... Uh, yeah. The LED replacement for the H7 bulb. Like I said, I have no hopes with this. I'm not fooling myself. I'm not trying to fool anybody else. But I uh, figured I'd start this up, let you guys see it. And pass or fail, we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and get the front uh, windscreen off of her and uh, try her out. See you in a split second. Okay, everybody, I almost got it all buttoned up. I figured I'd give you a quick try to look see at it. Um, it is still not dark outside quite yet, so I do have some light coming in from the windows. But this will give us an idea. This is what it looks like. This is what it will look like off of my windscreen. The camera's actually mounted around my windscreen. There's the rear headlight. And here's my high beam. Headlight, high beam. Uh, to be honest with you, it's, uh, it might be a little bit looks deceiving with the, wind, the light coming in off the uh, windows. But it looks to be I mean, a little dim for a high beam, but I'll be honest with you, I don't think it's any dimmer than the, uh, the blue headlight that was inside of it when I got the goat. But, um, yeah, let's take a look at it, at the lights for you. Okay, you can kind of get an idea. That's the low beam, and, uh, and there's no light on the high beam side, really, showing up on the camera. But um, there you go. I mean, it's kind of close to my eyes. Let's see what I can do here. I mean, it's lit up, it works. Okay, after seeing that, uh, the LEDs are much, much whiter light. White or light. Hope that comes through okay. Um, of course it's going to be. Uh, remember, this is an experiment for the with the headlight. I did not mean to, to intend to say run out and get LED headlights. Uh, actually, this particular bulb, sorry about that, had a smaller plug in the back end of it. It should have been really marked as a fog light whenever I bought it online. A strictly fog light, not a uh, headlight. But uh, I, a little bit of uh, ingenuity got that replaced and I didn't change anything on the goat. But um, it was meant to see if it could be done. And it is, and uh, I mean, I think I mean it's better than the bluer headlight that bluer headlights that was in the headlight was in the goat. 
Um, as long as it's lit, it's safe, everybody, everybody can see it clear, clear as day, that does work. And uh, we'll roll from there. It is only a, head, a high beam headlight. I do not use high beam headlights maybe a few times a year at the most. But I'm not saying run out and change your headlights to high beams. Uh, headlights to high beams. Yeah, LEDs. Sorry about that, guys. Um, what I'm saying is it can be done. Technology for LEDs are getting better. They need to put a little bit of yellowness into the into the light so the eyes can see it a little better because white light is not a normal thing for people for people's eyes to see. A little, tinge it down to a little bit of yellow to be easier to see. Um, but I won't be using my high beam 98% of the time anyway. So it, it is what it is. Um, my LED switch over for my tail light, brake light it worked out. It worked out great. The uh, turn signals are next, and it can be done. I'll have to get a relay, a LED relay for it, which is not a problem. And then we'll be moving on to dash lights, and then the bike will be done. Uh, I never intended to replace any headlight with LED lights to start with. It just happened to be I needed a new uh, headlight because the high beam shorted out on me and went bad on me, so I was like, ah, it's time to replace it anyway, let's, let's see what we can do with the high beam and uh, make kind of an experiment. This is Muzzle Bike, I hope you enjoyed this, it's not really a how-to, maybe it's a how, why, why not, but uh, this is Muzzle Mike, I'm saying I hope you have a great day, Muzzle Mike signing out, see you guys.